One of the things I knew is that we needed to put feet on the street. But I also knew that we needed an identity. We needed to be something other than downtown that had nothing else except a couple of restaurants. The arts in Patchogue had a very significant role in the revitalization. And I believe you can go back to the um, renovation of the Patchogue Theater for the Performing Arts on Main Street, because that was a, a venture that attracted people from outside of the village to come into the village and spend time. And over time, restaurants came to establish themselves. The administration brought in more housing, and then with the housing came art space. That theater needed a dance partner. Art space just seemed to me at that time to be the perfect because that's the fine arts. The theater's the performing arts. Now you're beginning to round out what is the arts in Patrick? Refer to Paul Pontieri, our mayor, who uh, is very aware that the arts in Patchogue have three different stools, legs. One is uh, the Patchogue Theater of Performing Arts, where we see a lot of performing arts from, from dance to music, uh, an occasional uh, musical. We're essentially, we're kind of like the, the building block of, of the arts um, within the community. The, the theater and the restoration of the theater was one of the first real big things that occurred um, and, and kind of set the tone and the foundation um, for the revitalization of the arts within the community and really the revitalization of the community as a whole. And then there's the Patchogue Arts Council where we see uh, gallery shows and painters, sculptors. So Patchogue Arts Council uh, is the name of the nonprofit, the organization we started 11 years ago. And Museum of Contemporary Art Long Island is our space. We've redefined this space as a museum because of where we see ourselves going in the future and because of the type of work we do. Almost all of our programming is free. And then the third leg of the stool is the media arts, the film uh, screenings that we do here. We have been in this location for about seven years now and we are not-for-profit cinema art center. That means that as an art house cinema, we are distinctly different than multiplexes because we run independent films, foreign films, documentary films, and quality mainstream films. You're gonna be seeing those films that get Golden Globe Awards and Oscar nominations and Oscars. We also have animation classes, documentary film production classes, and film editing classes. For every dollar you put into art, you get four dollars back. It's a little formula that has proved to be true everywhere. In Suffolk County alone in the year 2011, we created over $311 million worth of business here in Suffolk County making films. Well, I think the arts are important to any community, um, and I think they're a key aspect of trying to maintain that whole, you know, live, work, play environment, too. Providing people um, a creative outlet for their own talents, but also um, providing something for the community members to go to for, you know, for entertainment, to experience, you know, cultural events right within your own community. Without the arts, the community's not whole. Patchogue is the best example on Long Island of what the arts can do for a community. The arts is important because it means so much to so many people in different ways. The arts is a very general term. People love music, people love film, people love poetry, painting, drawing, and I think it makes people feel vibrant. But it, it is the arts that creates an energy that changes what a community is to what a community would like to be.